Now this is an alert, if you're using the broker that is included in this alert list, this is an alert list that has been released by the Reserve Bank that they should not be used because they are not regulated. Now let's go into this list so that you can understand the type of broker that you are using, if it's regulated or not regulated, even how to know if the broker is regulated and how to look for him. Let's go into it. This is a bank of uh, reserve bank of India. Just let is this list here. Here are the list of brokers, the first broker and the stock brokers. At the same time, the pro firms, proprietary trading firms, funding firms have been have been disqualified. I would say not disqualified. They have released this list here has an alert that people should not use them as they are not regulated by them. Now, I will go through it, but before going through this, let me show you first you need to understand what is a broker. Why do you need a broker once you, you are you're trading, right? So here's the thing. The first trading broker, once you'll be starting trading, you'll need the person, the middleman, whom we call the trading broker. So this is one of the important decisions, like knowing which one is regulated, which one is not regulated as a beginner. It's quite difficult to understand that, but What's a broker? A broker the company offers traders access to a platform where they can buy and sell foreign currencies. But this is a point now. A broker acts as a middleman between you and the currency market providing providing the, the platform tools and access you need as a trader. But you have to understand that the forest broker they are always directing your positions i would say to the liquidity provider where there are other different traders you see now you might be asking yourself how do brokers earn money this is one of the important ask questions that you should be asking yourself because sometimes you be, if you don't ask yourself such question then what if the broker is paying himself through you once you'll be losing you have to you have to understand here yeah, okay the broker make money primarily through what we call spread. Whereby this way is the difference between the buying and the selling price of the currency pay. And sometimes through what we call commissions and fees. Some of the brokers, especially based in the US, they have what we call tax. These are different fees where they say broker where I guess money from. Now, why do you need a broker? You as a trader, you need to trade you can't trade directly in the first market as an individual. You'll need a broker to execute your trade. So broker, they provide you technology, which is the platform. It's like MT4 or the other platforms. You have different platforms. The nether is not MT4. So these resources like charts, and analysis tools, they, they can make you maybe access the liquidity of the market and you press buy and sell so by giving you this there's one one thing that we we call leverage there's there's some brokers who they give you leverage which is limited and some give you leverage which is unlimited so you have you have to be very very conscious with the broker who gives you unlimited revenue there's some brokers who are they can handle the the number of their clients so that so they will be giving you um unlimited leverage by then they give you their own money once you find the broker gives you huge leverage that's their own money all right so there this point that you need to understand now here types of brokers here this is a point where you love to understand because we are talking about this list here so types of brokers are only based in two three categories but i just highlighted only two categories here which will be very easy to understand you as an amateur trader or the beginner trader. The first list is called the dealing desk. These are market makers. So the dealing desk broker, they say the broker always, they make the market providing you with the liquidity by taking the opposite side of your trade. They are always dividing the traders into groups. We have the group A and the group B. So once there are those blow i mean traders who are always they know what they are doing so once you will be winning 
Detroit they are losing. These market makers, once you keep you win, your profile is always they press it to the other side of the winners. So if you are losing more, then they put you into the side where they it's called the side of losers. So they can sometimes create an no, and conflict of interest like maybe your profit maybe was was you you find maybe you press the trade and then you are in profit and you find yourself maybe take profits is being passed like your, your profit is here and then market passes you see so they're trying to make you lose so that they can win your loss is their gain and their gain is your loss so if you have a good win late they will select you to 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 traders block which is called maybe broker a block a or block uh, block b that's how they do it so such blockers have different blocks like i said they have block a, a which which is called losers block and they have broker b which is called winners block but number two is no dealing desk brokers so this is the other type of brokers number two which is called non-dealing desk broker so non-dealing desk brokers connect you directly to your interbank mark or to the liquidity provider they are, they do not have time with your with your winning trade or your losing trades once you press a trade is directly going to the liquidity provider they usually offer valuable spread and charge commissions with no with more transparency in pricing so sometimes you find even their platforms are way more conducive to any type of trader and this non i mean dealing desk broker or market maker sometimes you find their platform a little bit manipulative so you have to be very very careful and all these not not dealing desk broker who are not market makers they are always using different flat i mean different technology you find like a uh, widow mention like ecn blocker or tps broker these are different technology that they use to transfer your position to liquidity provider so this one is an interesting part here key features now you have to look at to a certain broker the first thing is regulation that and this was this is why the bank of rb released this list that this are not regulated by us so once you use them literally maybe if you get scammed they have no answers to you because they have already alerted the first thing is regulation so you have to ensure your broker is regulated by a, a reputable authority so we have different authority according to zones for example we have fca we have acis these firms they are always pro protecting you from fraud and the shores blocker is strictly following standards or strictly following the rules number two you have to ensure the trading platform now you have to test is your your broker you have to test the platform like look for if the platform is a user friendly like metatrader 4 metatrader 5 you have to understand whether the platform in terms of spread in terms of how especially during news reports how do they behave you have to understand that the other part is on the spread and fees some traders no one is no one is friendly with the higher spreads no one you have to make sure you understand the broker in terms of the fees and the spread that he is offering you so you have to compare spread and fees lower spread can save your money so you have to look for a broker who has lower spreads and especially if you trade frequently for example for scalpers day traders look for a broker who has at least minimum spread it will guide you and to save your bank balance as well if you know what you're doing in the market the other interesting part is on the leverage leverage allows, allows you to control the large position with a small amount of capital but in in case leverage is huge maybe you have uh, unlimited leverage or the, your leverage is bigger that you did select it from that such broker because they offer you different options now you choose on your own leverage is good once you'll be winning so it's bad once you'll be losing so you have to choose a broker that offers a suitable leverage options for your trading style because we have scalpers we have day traders we also have fundamental traders who are also one they always need in need of this huge leverage so you have to choose very carefully but based on this qualification i did select very few blockers that I, I did put the link down below in the description now you have to choose your the certain broker that maybe offers you 
yeah which is which your trading style okay but the last one but not least the customer support and deposit and withdraw options check for a variety of a broker who has a secure and a convenient deposit and withdrawal method depending uh depending with where pressure that you are you have to make sure that the method that you are using in terms of deposits and withdrawal is conducive check for the light of different trading math i mean deposit and withdrawal method it has to be like that so now you have to understand this guys you have to understand this these are some of the key areas that you have to look at before selecting a certain trading broker to be your own broker now here is one is the part here how to choose the right broker so choosing a regulated force broker is one of the crucial for your safety and security as a trader so regulation means that the broker is adhering specific laws and standard which are always set by financial authorities like maybe if you're in the zone of asia uh, uk america or africa we have different regulations so what does regulation mean regulation refers to the oversight of financial institution by governing agencies or independent organizations these regulatory bodies are always ensuring the brokers operate fairly the transparency to us and to them as no one is being inter inter interfered into is or our own trading activities so why is this regulation important the first thing is client protection fair transparency and all that but the interesting part is here how do you check now how do you check if the broker is regulated the first thing is first thing first ensure your broker is regulated follow these steps first of all look for regulatory information on the broker's website each and every single broker has a website so make sure you go and look the informations on the on the exact tree platform that that they have for example you can choose any broker by the way now go to earlier where there's about us so and about us section look for the name of the regulatory body and the the, the local legislation number that's all you need and once you have that information, verify the regulation. So once you find the regulatory information, go to the regulatory body official website. Most regulatory bodies such as they have different features where we look and search for the exact detail. So is is this way you have to do? Check the details, input the broker's details, such as the broker's name, address, and status to ensure they match with the listed name and the location if they have maybe the physical location so here is what you need to understand there are common regulatory bodies in the forex industry to the united states we have the national future association which is nfa so this this website here they i mean this body here it has the exact website where you can go and check the 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 brokers if we is regulated or not regulated but to the united kingdom we have financial conduct authority it's called fca so if a broker says maybe it's regulated to the united kingdom go to the this the united kingdom website to, the, to this to the to this body and check if the exactly what well, broker is regulated and if you're from australia if you're from australia go to the australian securities and investment commission this body is regulating brokers who are claiming that they have been regulated to in a, in australia and if you're from europe now if you're from europe we have cyprus security and exchange commission or financial market authority which is fma in australia and this exact body that you have to go and check if this broker is regulated or not regulated. And if you're from Asia, Asia we have Securities and Future Commission, CFC. In Hong Kong, Monitor Authority of Singapore, these are bodies which are always available to this zone. You have to make sure you, you see if the broker is regulated. Now, here's an important area now. This is an interesting part. The Bank of India, let me pass through the war the war article now you'll see 
this was Lelis, Lelis the on April. Now this is a bank of uh, India here. And this is a risky that I did find this one which is summarized so that you can understand what's going on. This was Lelis on April 25th of 2024. Now the thing is the Reserve Bank of India in its latest notification has once again cautioned people about unauthorized entities now offering foreign exchange which is for trading facilities with the promises of exit returns now the thing is to tighten these nose around such entities now you can pass through all this article by the way is from this website here which is fortunate in from india so if you're from india you can take a look on this on this article and check it out but the most important is the rest now here the rest now you have to know the rest of different brokers maybe if you are using one now you have to check for a certain broker the first number one number one is apari i have no idea with this broker and i've never used this broker number two is nfx we have our trader by mono we have a tolo we have xness i've been using xness for the past like two years i would say i have different perception with this broker by then he's giving you unlimited unlimited leverage which is fine if you are the aggressive trader but the most interesting part is when we have news reports this broker is not out at all is not favorable to any trader who is who is who is i would say trading news reports but if you are the aggressive trader i would advise to use xness if you are an aggressive trader and you are good in trading you can use xness because it gives you unlimited revenge which is fine for aggressive trader if you are not aggressive trader then follow a link in in the description you will find the other rest of broker who are who are conducive to your trading side but number seven is expert no idea fbs have a little bit of experience with this broker i think i used this broker to, to 2017 i would say if not 19 no idea but it was not good at all i would say in, in based on my experience it's not a good broker and we have uh ftmo i think this ftmo is it uh, the uh, i think this is a funding firm we have uh, FBP, no idea, no idea. FXM, I have experience on this broker. I have FXTM, no idea. Uh, yes, I have an idea with this broker. I think I used I used this broker 2020, if not 2019. And then we have Hot Forex. This is a bullish, bullish broker, I say. We have Ice Markets, no idea. IQ Options, these are option traders, I think. We have Okta FX. I have no idea of this broker, but I've seen different traders using it, so I have no idea. We have TD Ameritrade. This is a stock broker. So if you are you trade stocks, I think this is a broker. Although I did use this broker once I, I was associated with trading stocks back then, but I never used it. Uh, by then, I'm not into that field. So no idea exactly with experience with this broker. We have TP Globex, we have Trade Signer, no idea. We have XM. XM, I would say, is a little bit same with FB, F, uh, the, with this book here. It's almost the same with, uh, was it X, uh, F, Alt Forex, it's almost the same. And we have Quad, Poké, but you can take a look on the regulation. We have uh, Infinox. This uh not good, not good. We have uh, also we have paper stone. I have an idea with paper stone. I've said to my side, based on my experience, is a good broker based on on their spreads, leverage, the the platform. I'll say I I've never seen them manipulating the market based on my experience though. So you can take a look on how they trade on your own. But this list here is being released by by the bar, the reserve bank of india so it's only restricted to people from india now we have uh, a black bull i think this is a, a long list house say gateway and everyone just monkey each and every single broker here 
you find them they have been regulated with the other maybe body but not regulated in india so i did put the link down below in the description go check the they, they, there's one blocker that I, I i'm using but it's not here i would say i think may, might be conducive to if you're from india and i would say based on my experience now i'm giving you based on my experience but shout out i think you have to take a look on this list and think on your own based on the broker because the choice the choice that you make based on this type of brokers will save you over time so you have to don't ignore it so thank you for watching this make sure you subscribe and like you can also share see you today in the next video